guys, it's Dave with Classic Gamers HQ. I'm going to go on with the uh, cleaning section of uh, the NES refurbished series I've got going. Uh, this section is the fifth and final video, and it does involve cleaning the outer exterior of your games and your consoles to make them look like or brand new. We've got uh, to clean the outside, the exterior of our Nintendo Entertainment System itself. Um, refer back to the take apart video. Once you have everything broken down, you can get some of this canned air here and you can blow out any kind of dust that's on the inside. It's safe to blow out or blow off your main board. It won't hurt anything as, as long as you don't get your main board uh, wet or, or soapy or anything like that. Um, you definitely don't want to submerge any kind of liquid or spray any kind of liquid on it. Just use some canned air, spray off the loose dust, and do the same with the rest of the inside of it while you have it broken down. So go ahead and uh, go to the links below or go to the end of the video and there will be clickable links for the take apart video for cleaning the inside of your NES console. Now let's clean off the outside. First you want to make sure I'm going to use the second NES as a reference. I'm going to put them side by side at the end of the video to uh, give you a visual difference of what this cleaning agent is going to do for us. First and foremost Make sure your NES is unplugged. No power, no controllers, no audio video cables, nothing. Very easily you can clean this unit up by taking your rag and dousing it with uh, some glass cleaner. Alternatively, if you would like, works just as well you can use your rubbing alcohol. I'll use my glass cleaner and just wipe off the outside very liberally. You know, the sides, the bottom, the back. I'll clean those off very nicely. The inside of the door, a lot easier to get the inside of the door once you have this whole thing apart. Once again, refer back to the take apart video. Okay, then you douse your toothbrush. And um, over here, I'm just going to douse a little bit. Okay, and you can get in between these little cracks here. I would recommend doing this while it was taken apart, though, and everything was in pieces, but this is just fine. You just get in between those cracks there with the toothbrush and it loosens up all that nasty dirt. You loosen up that dirt in these crevices and get the remainder of it with Q-tips. Just get in between there and just get every last crevice. And you get the idea. Just picking up all the leftover gunk that's uh, left down in these crevices. Turn your NES up, get the crevice for your controllers, make sure the end is still damp. I'm going to go ahead and dampen the end a little bit more here. buttons here, get your LED, and you can get all these little cracks and crevices just like this. This Q-tip works perfectly for that. Turn it around, and you can do the same thing with the joining sections of your NES. I like to go ahead and get I like to get around my audio video output connectors, get the gunk out of there, kind of give it a little twirl on the inside, and that helps clean those up. I like to do the same with my power connector, get in there as best as you can, and 
and uh, my RF connector as well. Okay. Okay, a little crevice right here, all the way down. And you can also flip her upside down and uh, clean off the bottom as well. Okay? So once you do that, <clears throat> and you cleaned off any loose dirt and debris. The final, and uh, well, the last but not least, the final product we're gonna use to make this NES look like new is our secret product. WD-40. Oh yeah, it's gonna shine it up. It's gonna make it glisten, and look like new again. You just gotta wipe the entire surface down try not to get too much in the cracks what you're wanting to do is take your rag here and take a different section of the rag another dry section here take my WD-40 and spray it on the rag only okay take it to my NES kind of buff it out okay I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of this I'm gonna show you in just a moment what it looks like side by side with another NES and there you have it a side by side comparison of our end result I'm getting a little bit closer here and uh, give you a little view of our NES I haven't really given it enough time to dry, but once it dries, it's not going to look so uh, shiny and wet. Instead, it's going to have a nice, clean, even, uh, new look to it. Incidentally, this works a lot better on black consoles, but works very well on tanned or white consoles like this. Here's your NES that has not been cleaned. Let's look at it from a top angle. Okay. There you have it. And uh, this segment we're going to cover cleaning and restoring your games. As you can see this one here is probably a prime example of, uh, of what you want to try to avoid as far as purchasing games. Well, <clears throat> I wouldn't let that deter you if it's a, if it's a really good uh, title and you want to snatch it up from you know your, your local thrift shop or something online. Um, I definitely wouldn't let this deter you. I mean, we've got permanent marker on it. We've got stickers on it, and um, we've got other stickers that were attempted to be to have been taken off, but uh, didn't work so well. And you can see that residue there as well that was left over from this sticker. Well, just a few tools, a few little solutions, and we can make this game look like new again. Let's start off with our stickers here. This one's going to be fairly easy to remove. This one's going to be a little bit tougher, but we're still going to be able to remove it. And I don't know what this is, but it seems to be coming off on its own. And it is leaving a little residue behind. Ah, there's like a metal strip in the middle. I bet this was like an anti-theft strip or of some sort. Racket Attack. A Jaleco game. Yeah. That's the first thing I go for when I'm a thief and I go into a video game shop. Oh yeah. Yeah, this did some good. This did some real good. Anyway, let's get started. What you need, number one tool here is uh, borrow your girlfriend's or your wife's uh, hair dryer here, or maybe if you use a hair dryer. Just grab one that has some pretty good heat. Any hair dryer will do. And you're going to need some uh, Goo Gone like we mentioned earlier in the tools video and your magic eraser your magic eraser is going to be in charge of taking off this permanent marker and uh, keep your 
Uh, keep your uh, solutions handy, like your alcohol and or your glass cleaner with your dry rag, because that's going to be the final uh, cleaning product after we get all this other crap off of here. So let's start off by uh, loosening the adhesive up underneath this sticker here. Take your hair dryer, put it on high heat, it's going to get noisy here, and aim it directly at the sticker. Nice even distribution. What we're doing here is we're melting the adhesive underneath the sticker here. And it's going to make it much easier just to peel right off. Fairly quickly, you want to start removing the sticker there. I'm going to try to do this while I've got you guys looking on. I'm going to try from this end since. I don't have those grooves to deal with. Start with the corner and peel on back. Be careful with the original logo or the original sticker that's on there. You don't want to take that off. Although it looks like it's trying. Oh goodness, I got double the stickers. Uh, this one's coming off uh, very, very easily. Yeah, no residue left behind on that one, but this, maybe I've heated it up a couple of layers down, just enough to remove this one as well. Let's see what we got here. Now, this is an interesting little surprise. Choice video, Howie's choice video. Oh, well, Howie, looks like this game has traveled a long way just for me to deface you. Damn. All right. I got one more sticker up here. More movies. Man, this thing has been through the ringer. Racket Attack, I bet you've seen better days. Used and abused. Whew. This is one loose game. All right, let's heat up this other sticker here. Maybe about a minute. Let's see what we get here. give me a little bit of trouble. Alright. The original label seems to be staying intact, which is good. I can get a hold of this. There we go. I can just peel back. It's looking great already. Look at that. Look at that. We got um, our little permanent marker there. This might be a little bit of a challenge as we don't want to destroy our original label here. This should be easy to take off. We got another sticker here. I'm going to try peeling this off without even heating it up. It doesn't look like it's all that much of a challenge anyway. We got lots of residue, which that's okay because we've got our goo gone that will take care of that. Oh. Deal with that in a minute. Let's heat up this uh, already torn sticker and see what we can do with it. Okay, the only corner I can really work with. Right there, it's not much of a corner, but it's something. Ooh, this one's on here, good. I'm gonna heat it up a little bit more, scratch that off of there. You can take a razor blade to it if you need to, just be careful not to scratch too much. And uh, then we're going to take our um, magic eraser 
and get rid of this graffiti on here. So I've taken some of my Goo Gone and I spritzed it right around in this area here. There was a square shaped residue uh, left over from one of the stickers and uh, took my little rag here, spritzed a couple of drops right here, and scrubbed it back and forth and I got rid of that residue. Now what I'm working on here is this line. Now, I kind of worked on this end, it got rid of the surrounding residue, but this strip from where that metal strip was uh, connected for probably a couple of years, quite a few years, it's not coming off so easy. But this residue, I can at least get rid of it. So let me show you. Get a couple of spritz of my um, goo gun here. A couple of drops. Okay. Getting close here and then just start scrubbing away. Doesn't really take much effort. It just kind of goes away. Yeah, much better. We got rid of the residue that you see there. It's gone. I'm gonna scrub a little bit more. See if I can get rid of this uh, this leftover strip here. Okay, as you can see. The strip still exists, but it's barely there. I can work at it a little bit more and get rid of it, but the residue is all gone. There's not a bit of residue left on this game cartridge on the back here. I'm going to work on the front. We got a little residue. Where was it? Ah, there it is. Right in the middle. You can see it there. Boom, boom. I can get that off if I ever so gently scrub it with a little goo gone. And uh, take your magic eraser, wet the end of it, scrub away at this permanent marking here. Be a little bit gentler with the permanent marking here. Let's see those results. I just couldn't pass this up. This is an amazing, amazing product. I'm going to show you this thing in action. This is already about halfway gone and I just scrubbed on it for about a couple of seconds. And I've got uh, my magic eraser here, I've wetted the end and I'm just going to take a little scrub at the numbers here which were written in permanent marker. And show you firsthand. the ability of this product. I mean, it's almost gone. It's, uh, it's pretty amazing. Let's see what we can do with the number right here. Let's see if I can set you up here. Not easier. It's gone already. All right. Last number on the cartridge. Last but not least, let's take a rag with a little glass cleaner on it or a uh, alcohol, rubbing alcohol, and just give it a uh, give it a little wipe down. And this wipe down will get rid of any of the uh, Goo Gone residue. It is a little greasy, and it will get rid of any particles left behind from your magic eraser. Okay, here's all the crap we took all off of it. It was in pretty bad shape. Now, racket attack. 
looks like new again. This has been a refurbished series on the Nintendo Entertainment System. One of my favorite classics of all time. Stay tuned for my Sega Genesis refurb and clean series coming up very soon. I appreciate you watching my videos. Please subscribe, please like, and always keep it classic. This is Dave with Classic Gamers HQ. Thanks again, and keep gaming.